Hey Internet, it's Colorful Artie, praise be to God, and welcome back to DuckTales Remastered. So we ended the last episode a bit on a confusing note, and I realized that pretty much all the stuff in this Let's Play I've been a bit confused about, it's been a count on me playing on hard mode. So there are a bunch of different difficulties for DuckTales. So I learned on easy mode you have unlimited lives, and you can see the map, all like all the map, at any time. Uh, on normal mode, you have finite lives, and lives are pretty scarce. You can only get them from Mrs. Beakley. And there is a map, but it works like a Metroid map where you have to, you can only see where you've actually been. But uh, on hard mode, there is no map at all. I thought there was a map, but because I'm playing on hard mode, I don't get access to it. Also on hard mode, as I mentioned before, there are only two uh, heart upgrades in the entire game, as opposed to five in the regular game. But, on the plus side, because of the- oh, also on hard mode, there's no cake, which is, gives you full HP, but because you only get two hard upgrades, that's not a huge deal. Also, there are no invincibility coins, but again, that's also not a big deal, because I've never really found the invincibility coins to be all that useful. But the thing about hard mode that's actually nice is because it's so much harder, they make lives less scarce. So you can actually find lives just lying out on the level, and you don't have to get them from Mrs. Beakley. So in that regard, I must say, it's almost easier on hard mode, because most of the deaths I have in this game are due to me falling down bottomless pits. So having more lives will actually be useful. Alright, that's enough exposition. It's time to get started with the actual game. Now, I was, going to, I was planning on going to Transylvania anyways, but I also learned that Transylvania is one of the two levels in the game that actually has the hard upgrade on it still. So we are definitely going to the Transylvania. Ah, ah, ah. Pack your bags, boys. We're off to Transylvania, and we're no coming back without the coin of the Lost Realm. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Very occasionally you get these little bonus stages. Where Gyro's, like, dropping money for you, apparently, for some reason. Also, the clouds do not dis are not very distinguishable as platforms. I also don't know what happens if we touch his propeller, but I'm guessing nothing good happens. Thanks, Gyro! That gives us a nice little, uh, boost to our money count. Oh boy, this place looks spooky! Look at that skeleton go. He's dancing a little jig. This is it, kids. Draculesti Manor, home of the legendary Drake Von Vladstone, heir to the coin of the Lost Realm. Boy, it's kind of creepy out here, isn't it? Uh, uh Uncle Scrooge, we're not going to break into this guy's house, are we? Yeah, of course not, Louis. This castle has been abandoned for centuries. Hey, look at this. The Junior Woodchuck Guidebook says Drake Von Gladstone was best known by his nickname, Count Dracula Duck. <sighs> Is there really a monster in there, Uncle Scrooge? Ah, uh, don't be silly, Webby. Yeah, there's no such thing as Dracula. Uh, right! Ah, uh, he is right, isn't he, Uncle Scrooge? Uh, of course he is, Louis. Vampires, banshees, and mischievous spirits are just a lot of superstitious hocus-pocus. <laughs> but you better stick close to me, just in case. I love the rain and lightning effects. It's so pretty. Again, I'm me gushing about the graphics. Also, we have uh, Webigail with us, or Webby. She is the granddaughter of Mrs. Beakley, I believe. Now you boys stay put and keep an eye on Wee Webigail. I'll be back with the treasure in no time. Aw, nuts. We want to come with you, Uncle Scrooge. Don't worry. I'll be back with the coin before you can say E Pluribus Unum. E Purple Bus Whoom? Yeah, I'm not sure that's as fast as you think it is. Besides, <laughs> why should we have to stay here just because Webby's a big chicken? Yeah, we're not afraid of... Uh, whatever's hiding out there, uh, are we? You boys are so mean. I'll show you who's not afraid of the dark. Wait, 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 wait Webby! Webby! 
Huey, Dewey, Louie. Will they be all right, Uncle Scrooge? Of course. Everything will be fine, my darling. Wait here, and I'll be back with the lads lickety split. And we get that awesome Transylvania tune. Also, Scrooge, wouldn't it be uh, safer for you to actually take Webigail with you instead of leaving her in a, an abandoned, creepy old manor? These are skeleton ducks. We gotta hit them, uh, jump on their heads before they ram into a wall, and then we can use their skulls as target practice. And more often than not, there will be a giant chest floating around, but not this time. Transylvania's full of invisible walls, too, so... That can be tricky, but all in all, this is not too bad a stage. Woohoo! Oh, that had ice cream inside! Lovely! Yeah, we can jump on the ceiling up here. But uh, regrettably, that actually doesn't lead anywhere. Oh boy, treasure! <laughs> Darn it, Transylvania, why do you have such good music? And again, this is not even close to being the best song in the game, in my personal opinion. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I will climb up here. This level will be a bit tougher because I don't have the map. Ah, oh, that's it. Oh no. Oh dear, a ghost. From the looks of it. But as we all know, appearances can be deceiving. Yo! I'm out of here. Hey, that wasn't a ghost at all. It was a beagle boy in disguise. Trying to beat me to my treasure, no doubt. But it'll take more than just an old bed sheet and flower dust to frighten off Scrooge McDuck. Look, Uncle Scrooge, that beagle boy dropped something. It's an old piece of paper. Twist me, Tartan. It's an ancient rune. You mean, like a magic spell? Aye, lad. At least part of one. Gee, I wonder who tore it into pieces. We'll worry about that later. Right now, I want you to head to the front door and wait for me. I'll be back once I've found the treasure. Off you go, lad. You're not worried about him falling through another trapdoor, Scrooge? Not even a little bit? All right. Also, for those of you who are wondering, since this is the Wii U version, I move Scrooge with the D-pad, not the analog stick. Trust me, that is much better. And hey, it's an actual ghost. And this is why I think it makes more sense to do Transylvania after the African Mines, because in African Mines, he's like, there's no such thing as ghosts, come on. And now in Transylvania, he learns that there actually is. This is a mummy duck. You can either jump on his head or hit him with his uh, ball and chain. We'll be seeing the ball and chain a bit later. Those coffins sometimes have ghosts in them, but oftentimes uh, they have something else. Yeah, we just hit him with the ball and chain. The ghosts are tough enemies because you cannot defeat them. They are completely invincible. Ah, oh, the spooky music here is just so fitting. Uh-oh. That's bad. Goodbye. Oh, wow, double prizes! Sweet! Dog on it. Yeah, it's always a gamble to hit the coffins. A lot of times it has money, but like 50% of the time I'd still say it has ghosts. Fortunately, you get to keep the money you earn in a room if you die. You can only hit 
the coffins once, otherwise Scrooge will uh, get stunned briefly. Yeah, so that one up on the top, we need to wait for him to actually walk to the right so we can hit him with his uh, giant prison ball. Oh, I didn't know you could actually pogo on those. Goodbye. Yeah, I see that. Invisible wall. Yes, that's the hard upgrade. That was very rude. Again, make sure you get the hard upgrades as soon as possible. Because they will only make your life easier. And the one in Transylvania just so happens to be on one of the easier stages. So that's very kind of the game developers, as a matter of fact. What's through here? Watch this. Part of the spell matches the inscriptions on this mirror. Oh, if only I had all the pieces to this puzzle. Yeah, so essentially, this is where we're going to go at the end of the level once we've collected all the spell pieces. Let's enter this mirror. Oh boy, another minecart ride. This one's significantly tougher than the one in African Mines, if memory serves. Let's go on the top, because I believe there are more gems. Yep. How do you stop this confounded contraption? <laughs> Bless me, bagpipes! Make sure you jump at the end of that, because otherwise you are falling down that pit. Oh boy, it's another Beagle Boy. But this time, there's a ghost as well, which makes it a little bit trickier. <laughs> but if you can make them appear high up on the screen, it's not too big a deal. Goodbye. <laughs> well, I guess you found me out. Oh well. You guys got any lunch? No! Okay, okay. You don't gotta be all touchy about it. See ya! Aw, uh, that guy gives me the heebie-jeebies. He was starting to look at me like I was lunch. Well, next time he'll think twice before scrapping with Scrooge McDuck. Speaking of scraps, he dropped this out at Scrooge. Ah, it looks like another piece of that torn-up sorcery. Ah, uh, say what? A magic spell. And it's nearly complete. Just one piece left to find. If only I knew where to start looking. Well, that bungle boy did say this house has an illusion wall. Uh, do you think he meant... Of course, a secret passage. Oh, no wonder I've been having so much trouble finding anything around here. Good lad. Now, off you go. I need you to wait at the entrance with the others. Okay, I'm beginning to think that this is what the designers actually intended you to start with, because they reveal things like hidden walls in this place. But the hidden walls also apply to the other regions as well. Another minecart ride, everybody! Really lost my hat on that one. Really lost my hat on that one. No, you didn't, Scrooge. Alright, at the next time I can go up or down, I'm going to try going down. I think that's where more of the money is going to be found. Oh no, I missed the big one! There we go, maybe? Oh yeah. Rubies are worth a ton. So if you can... If you have a choice between, like, uh, a diamond or a ruby, go with the ruby. Absolutely. Every time. Woohoo! 
Actually, wait a second. Okay. Okay, this part can be tough to get all the chests. Because you've got to jump on this guy's head and then use his skull as a golf ball. Yeah. Come over here. More treasure. There we go. Woohoo! One up. That was definitely worth it. Over here, you little skeleton guy. <laughs> How can you not love Scrooge? He's amazing. What's down here? This whole area is pretty much a giant maze, which is a bit of a problem. Not all the suits of armors have treasure chests in them, so do be on your guard about that. I believe this is taking us back to... Okay, stop moving to the left, dude. Come on. I believe this is taking us back towards the black mirror we went through. Come on! I'll deal with you in a bit. There we go. Whoa, another one up. That's very kind. Yep, sure enough. Okay, this is back towards where we first entered the mirror. Yeah, and that mirror we can't actually enter. That's like a receiver mirror as opposed to a teleporter mirror. Well, thanks for the ice cream. I'm not sure if I would personally eat ice cream that a mummy dropped, but I'm glad Scrooge enjoys it. Yeah. So if you hit a if you hit a, a suit of armor and you don't immediately see a chest appear, run away. Otherwise, that happens. I love the portraits of the various ducks in the background. That's pretty cool. Yes, you have, Scrooge. Don't lie. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. I'm not sure if we can actually... Ah, oh, darn it. We missed some treasure, but I'm not backtracking all the way over just to get it. It's nothing important. Yeah, if we had gone down the ladder at that one point instead of going to the right, we could have gotten that secret chest. That's my bad. Oh. Well, that's dumb. I thought that was going to take us to, um, Louie. That's cool. I just have to remember where Louie's located. Oh, hey, you actually can still jump on their heads. I didn't realize that. Just have to be very careful with your timing. Also, it's interesting in some cutscenes and on the loading screen it shows Scrooge running. There's no run button in this. Um, guess we're going down. That's right. We never went over this way.
Oh yeah! The torches and the storm are beautiful! How can you not fall in love with the graphics and the music in this game? It's so pretty! It's a really good uh, 2.5D game. What? If not a bit difficult. <laughs> Now things are getting a bit dark, but that's okay. Yeah, I knew that was gonna have a ghost in it. Nope, I'm out of here! Oh boy, we've got some Maleficent Brambles down there. Yep, so these are spikes. If you touch them, you will take damage, but we can pogo on them safely. Thanks for the ice cream! So that's a bit tricky to do, but... Once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad, and it's nowhere near as bad as the spikes out on the Amazon. Hey, Parker Scrooge! Get me down from here! Well, this is a pretty creepy place. So that's the final Beagle Boy. But this time, it's in the dark, and there are two ghosts around. Not so tough without your army helmet, eh? <laughs> Wait till the gang in Sing Sing finds out you were knocked flat by an old guy in his cane! <laughs> yeah, thank you, lad. <laughs> yeah? Well, you better be careful where you go poking around, McDuck, or you's gonna have much bigger problems than me. So long! Hmm. Now, what do you suppose he meant by that? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, quick, lad, see if there's a scrap of paper lying about. You mean like this one, Uncle Scrooge? Exactly. This is the last piece of the riddle. Woo! Well, what to do? That's what I'm about to find out. Quick, lad, go meet Webby and the others at the entrance. And all of you, stay put. Who wants to bet they're going to do that? Woohoo! Treasure! <laughs> If you don't get too greedy, because otherwise you'll miss out on that treasure. Ho ho, ice cream! The only treasure that's more valuable than rubies! Alright. Time to go back to that giant mirror room. I haven't seen Mrs. Beakley on this whole... Oh, probably she was in the passageway that led to the treasure I missed. You know what? I really would like to uh, get that. Yeah, I'm backtracking. Gives me an opportunity to collect all the stuff I missed in the minecarts. Scrooge hit his head, but then ate ice cream, so it immediately felt better. I can vouch, that does work. Is there no end to this madness? Nearly lost my hat on that one. <laughs> no, you didn't, Scrooge. Ow, ow, ow. I was not expecting that. I'm gonna have to take extra care to not take damage. Nice shot over the Cartavian Mountains. That's lovely. Really lost my hat on that one. Ooh. 
There we go. Oh, 1.6 million. Is there no end to this madness? Nearly lost my heart. Oh, good ice cream. Oh, I don't know why there are minecarts in a Transylvanian castle, but I am not complaining because the minecarts are pretty fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go down here. One building one, one building two. I've never seen a gem like this before. Aha, uh -huh. yep, see that mirror? Take that. We were there before. Yippee. To be honest, the money doesn't really do anything. The only thing you can buy are, like, concept art things. Oh, is that it? No Mrs. Beakley? Oh, well, if I had known, I wouldn't have done all that. So as you can see, the levels are getting a bit longer. I remember African Mines being super long, personally. But I forgot Transylvania is also pretty lengthy. Alright, back to the mirror room. Luck of the ducks! I solved the riddle! Uh, what riddle, Luck of Scrooge? Boys, I thought I told you to stay with Webby. They did stay with me, Uncle Scrooge. I'm right here. Oh, what a pretty mirror. Aye, lass. And if I'm right, using this spell will reveal the foul perpetrator behind all these shenanigans. Interesting. <laughs> Magic at the spell. Ach, I should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, Scroogey, my old friend. You wouldn't believe how much fun it is watching you run around making a fool of yourself. What? <laughs> oh, you really don't think you need ancient sorcery to find Coin of Lost Realm, do you? No. I had Beetle Boy's hide paper scraps to throw you off trail. Why, you sneaky, conniving... Please, save compliments for garden party. What garden party? The one I will throw in celebration when I get home with Lost Coin. So long, fools! <laughs> gee, gee, you look very nice. You said it, Webby. All right, you kids stay here. I'm going to track down that witch and give her a piece of my mind. You better watch out when Scrooge says he's gonna give, give you a piece of his mind. Those of you not in the know, Magicka Dispel, she's a witch duck who's pretty sinister. Whew. And now it's silent, and I do not like it. Woohoo! Also, she's like, wow, Scrooge, you were such an idiot running around. It's like, oh, I made $1.7 million doing that, so, I mean, clearly I'm not an idiot. Woohoo, nice. All right. <laughs> Finally at the end. Scrooge, why must you always meddle? That coin is mine. So, a boss fight against Magicka Dispel. This is a very fun boss fight. Also, probably one of the simpler ones. Which mirror is that? <laughs> Obviously that one. So now she turns into a bird, flies low, we can jump on her head. Now she's gonna fire magic spells like that, and we can hit her on the head again. Though I will admit, Magicka does have a ton of HP.
She's like, oh, Scrooge, which mirror am I? Uh, clearly that one. So once you know her pattern, this fight is a cinch, because, like, all her moves are pretty easy to dodge. That's, like, the only one that catches you off guard if you don't know it's coming. Although, admittedly, this move can be a bit luck based, though, yeah, like that. Like, sometimes you can just get trapped if it's she's firing five. But we got plenty of extra lives. <laughs> Magic is a very interesting villain, though. <laughs> Also, I love her voice. Yeah, she's got so much HP. I think she has like 12 HP, as opposed to most bosses in video games who have like 3. Also, I'm not sure if the bosses have been changed for the remastered version. How did I know? Your face was on it, and it was laughing at me. <laughs> there we go. Don't laugh at me. You really shouldn't laugh in the mirror. It makes it much easier <laughs> on me. But yeah, as you can see, she's incredibly pattern-based. She can't do anything out of the ordinary. Goodbye. Blast these inferior mirror and beam spells. It's the last time I shop for spell ingredients at this discount store. You haven't seen lots of magic at the spell. You may have coin of lost realm, but your number one dime will soon be mine. <laughs> hey, Uncle Scrooge! How did they get for the ghost cave? Yeah, Scrooge's number one dime, that's like his prized possession, so. Stage clear! Nice! And look at that size of that gold coin. Just beautiful. Alright, we did ourselves well on that level. Transylvania. We got over 100,000 coins in the little gems alone. The rubies really add up. So we got almost 2 million from that, plus a million from the Coin of the Lost Realm, and playing on hard mode gives us another almost 500,000. So we are filthy stinking rich at this point. Do you think Magicka will keep out of our way now, Uncle Scrooge? It's hard to say, lad. Folks like her have a way of popping up at the most inconvenient moments. Well, when it comes to Magicka, there's no such thing as a convenient moment. Too true, Louie. Now then, where to next, lads? Alright, and on that note, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Color Party. Hope you're having as much of a blast with this series as I am. Tune in next time. I think I know which world we're going to next. Anyhow, have a great day, and God bless.